I sit in your favorite spot every day, the one under the aging ash, where the sun shines the brightest. It is no longer brightened by your amber eyes. The house is quiet now. I never realized that you were the source of happiness inside of these dandelion walls. No longer does anyone pace across the kitchen tiles, anxious for love, waiting for a caress of kind hands. No longer am I greeted at the door with rose-padded feet. It is too quiet when I sit in my father's armchair. The armrest seems bare without your head leaning against it. I don't have to change my pants every day, where I don't spill my coffee any longer. There's nobody to bump my balance hand with their excited nose. I've since traded coffee for tea. You smiled at me before I went to sleep. A rubber band smile of dreamlit admiration, stretched as wide as possible, impossible to hold all the joy you had. Woken by the absence of rose-padded feet, our world began to crumble, pieces of joyous memory falling one after another in the form of teardrops. You did not smile. Instead, your face fell limp, eyes distorted with pain. You did not pace. There was an absence of graceless clicking upon tiled floor, and your skin was a sickly shade of snow. Labored breaths, amber eyes faded dull copper, bright light dimmed. <coughs> I wanted to save you, I promise I did. But they told me a heart-shattering truth that the only thing that I could do was end your misery and let you fall into an endless sleep, a dream given by a silver needle, forever ensuring my own regrettable misery, creating your eternal dream and shattering mine. I held you as the copper light vanished. I held you long after. You were as cold as my newly broken heart, and your dull eyes remained open. If a thousand tears could bring you back, you would be sitting under the aging ash, glowing amber. You loved life more than I ever did, ever will. You were happy when I walked in the door, no matter how long I was gone. You spun in circles every time you ate even a single crumb. A walk down the alley was more than enough to excite you. I would trade my life for yours in the blink of an eye. For your sake, I will try to love my life. I vow to visit the ocean for you, you who never got to run through salty waves. I will be grateful just to be outside. I will spin around with joy every time I take a bath. I will see my routine as opportunity, not necessity. I regret that we only had 800 walks down the alley, only 2,500 baths, only 150 walks to Mill Avenue. Only two times did you pull me on my skateboard. I wish I had just one more scratch behind the ears to spend loving you. I miss you.